So here is the Customer.io email tutorial for beginners. Customer.io is a customer engagement platform that helps businesses create personalized customer journeys. It allows users to send automated messages across multiple channels, including email, SMS, push, and in-app. So as you can see, we're now in the Customer.io website. Here, if you go through the website, you will get to see all of these options. So let's go ahead and click on Pricing. Here, you will get to see all the available plans that they have to offer. They have Essentials that start at $100. After that, they have Premium, which starts at $1,000, and then they have Enterprise. And here on the top, you have options like Sign-in, Book Demo, or Start Trial. We will click on Start Trial for now. And then, you will be redirected to this page over here. So now, you need to create your account. Start by typing in your first name. After that, put in your last name. Then put in your email address. And once you're done typing in these details, click on Next, Create Password. So on this page, you need to type in a password for your account. And make sure that you follow the requirements stated below. And once you're done typing in your password, you will need to type in your password once again for confirmation. This way, if you make any mistakes in your password, you will get to know right away. So type in your password again and click on Next, Set up Company. So on the top here, you can click on Got it or Not now to save your password. So on this section, put in your company name, your work phone number, which is optional. After that, below it, you need to select the number of employees from these options available. I will go with 1 to 10 for now. Then select United States or Europe from the Data Center option. I will select United States and click Next. After that, you will be redirected to this page. It says your goals and experience. So go ahead and select what kind of work do you do. So go through these options over here and choose the ones that you want. Then click on Next. After that, what is your primary messaging goal? So go through these options as well and select your primary messaging goal from the options. I will select Send Transactional Messages and click on Next. Then, on the next page, you need to select which channels do you use. So here, you have options like Email, SMS, Push Notifications, In-App Messages, Slack, and other. Then click Next and choose Have you ever used a messaging automation tool before? So select one, then click Next. After that, Will you be the one to connect your data to customer.io? Choose your answer and click Go to my account. After that, it will take some time to load up. So as you can see, we're now in our account settings. Here, if you go back, you will be redirected to the customer.io dashboard. And as soon as you're here, you will get to see this welcome message. And on the left panel, you have all of these options available, such as dashboard, connections, etc. So let's click on this setup guide on the top left corner. After that, you will get to see your setup list over here. So go through all of these sections and make sure that you set up your account correctly. Then we have analysis on the left. This is where you can analyze the impact of your messaging. So here, click on create campaign. On this section, you get to choose your starting place. So go through these options and choose the one that you want. And as you can see, they have different templates to choose from. So I will go with this one right here. Then just wait for it to load up. And as you can see, we have different elements of the automation. Now let's go to broadcast on the left panel. Using this, you can send one-time messages to your audience. So click on create broadcasts. Over here, you can type the name of your broadcast. Then Choose a broadcast type from these options. You have newsletter and messages triggered via API. Then you can put in tags over here. Once done, just click on create broadcast. Then we have transactional on the left panel. Here you can see which inboxes when it matters most. So click on create transactional message. So over here, you can type in the message name, then describe your transactional message and choose your tags on this part. Then just click Next. Now let's check out Deliveries and Drafts on the left panel. 
Here it says all outgoing messages in one place. So let's click on create campaign on this page. And like before, you can select any of these options from here. Let's go over to people on the left panel. Here it says build your messaging audience. So click on add people. So here you have all of these options from where you can add people. So go through these options and select the one that you want. I will click on add a single person on the bottom. And after that, on this page, you will need to put in the identifiers, such as ID, email address, and other attributes if you want. So here, you can also click on create new attribute if you like. Now, let's move on to customer objects on the left. Here, it says your data in your words. And here, you can see visuals detailing this section. So let's go ahead and click on create object type right here. So now you need to choose an object type, such as company, accounts, appointments, events, or courses. So once you're done, click on configure on the top right. After that, on the next page, you need to type in all of these details, like name and singular form. Then click on this icon option, and you will get to see all of these options to choose from. So select the one that you want. After that, you can fill in this liquid section as well. So put in the object liquid tag and trigger liquid tag. Then select which best describes your end customer. And once you're done, click on save changes on the bottom right corner. Now let's go back and click on segments on the left panel. This is where you will get to see all of your different segments. You can also use the search bar to search for a specific one. You can also use these filtering options to filter through your segments. And if you scroll through here, you will get to see all your segments over here. And if you want, you can click on create segment on the top right corner. After that, from this choose a segment type, you can choose from data driven or manual. For this tutorial, I will go ahead and click on continue right below manual. Then you need to name your segment. So type in a name and description for your segment, then put in the relevant tags, then click on create. Now let's check out activity logs on the left panel. This is where you will see all of the activities. You can enable or disable auto refresh according to your preference. Here you can add people or send event. I will select add people and this is the same process as we've seen before. So scroll through these options and select the ones that you want you have the same options that you had in the Add People section. Also, you can click on Send Event. This is where you need to put in the email addresses of the people that you want to send it to. You can sort by email address or filters. After that, put in the event name over here and optionally put in the event data. You can also choose between Simple and JSON and add attributes if you want. So after that, we have Event and Integration and lastly, we have the content section. So using these options, you can easily create personalized customer journeys and make the experience of your customers a whole lot better. And that is the customer.io email tutorial for beginners.